What's up, y'all? This is Ron P. from Wise Guy Bets coming to you with the morning line where we go over the odds for today's games. I give you out some picks that I like. Uh, today uh, is May, yeah, Major League Baseball only. It's the second day of uh, MLB. We had a good opening night last night. The uh, Yankees uh, versus Nationals games uh, did get finished early because it started raining, but they did get through uh, – Five innings, and they called the game, and the uh, Yankees won the game four to one. And then this, the uh, nightcap was the uh, San Francisco Giants at the LA Dodgers, and the Dodgers won that game pretty easily. They were pretty heavily favored, and uh, but Kershaw didn't start. So if you had your bets in before they announced that Kershaw wasn't going to start, which was uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern time yesterday, those bets were canceled. My bets were canceled on that game. So didn't benefit from that game, but hey, that's how baseball is. You have uh, the bets are the uh, the uh, line is based on the starting pitchers, and you know if that starting pitcher doesn't pitch, uh, that game is canceled, which uh, you know sometimes hurts you and sometimes helps you, but that's just the way it is. Hey, so we're gonna look at the first game today. We're gonna look at uh, Atlanta Braves at New York Mets. Uh, you see the Mets are favored here, money line minus one fifty two. Uh, you have a over under of seven point five on the run total. Uh, let's look at the let's look at this matchup a little bit. Let's look at the Atlanta hitters, and this is the New York pitcher. It's very good. I like the uh, real ERA here. He strikes out a lot of batters. Uh, he doesn't give up many walks. Uh, Let's go down here where, right, where we uh, compare them against righties and lefties. Things looking good. Green, uh, he gives up, you know, hard hit balls to uh, righties, not too much to lefties. And in the lineup, in the matchup, you have um, at least seven Atlanta batters who hit the ball hard over 36% of the time. So, uh, you know, that number is a little low for me. I wish I can change that number, but I can't. I like to see the hard hit number over 40%, really over 45. That's when you know you're really getting some action. And only three batters in the lineup are over 45 for Atlanta. But Atlanta has a good lineup. Uh, they're a good team, uh, and they're going to hit the ball. So let's look at the uh, New York hitters and the Atlanta pitcher. Uh, you see they have a couple uh, – New York have a couple guys in their lineup that hits the ball pretty hard on a consistent basis. Um, let's look at the Atlanta pitcher. Uh, doesn't do many strikeouts. Uh, doesn't give up many walks. His true ERA is 3.78, which is good. Uh, hard hit balls, 30 – Six percent, I think it is. Uh, so you're looking down. See a lot of red against left-handed batters, and they have one, two, three, four left-handed batters in their lineup. This is game one. The game is in New York. Uh, I'll take all that in consideration. Uh, he gives up line drives to uh, 27 percent to left-handed batters, and uh, he gives up hard hits pretty equally to both. Um, in the lineup, he's facing uh, only five batters that hit over 30, 36% of hard balls, uh, and they don't strike out too much. Still, this game is in Atlanta, first game of the year. I'm sorry, this game is in New York, first game of the year. Uh, and New York has their ace on the mound. Uh, we're going to go with the home team in this one. I'm going to take the uh, Mets and the money line. Uh, Mets and the money line in this one. Uh, we're going to go down to the second. We're going to go look at a second game where I think I can pull a dog out. I think I can pull an upset out here. We're going to go down to the Chicago-Milwaukee game. And the money line, Chicago's favorite, 
114 and Milwaukee's plus 100. So basically, you bet 100 to win 100. Anytime we can do that, we're going to take that. I think this is a good position for that. Let's go look at this game. Milwaukee, Chicago. That's tonight, 710 Eastern. Let's look at the Milwaukee hitters versus the Chicago pitcher. His ERA is a true ERA is a little high. He doesn't strike out much. Uh, many walks, which is good. Gives a part of hits. 34%. Uh, let's go down here and compare these to lefties. He's giving up. Um, the team, uh, it's two left handers. That's a lot. Line drive, that's a lot. The hitters there, or potentially four on up over here. Uh, have a hit the ball six percent of the time. Uh, they do strike out though, so that's something to look at. Um, so uh, to me, the saying, you know, pretty much, you know, hey, uh, hitters gonna hit, pitchers gonna get some of them out, and you know, pretty even matchup. Let's look at the Chicago hitters versus the Milwaukee pitcher. This is what I like, right? Milwaukee pitcher looks pretty. Three percent. His K's are twenty nine percent. Go down and we compare. I mean, he strikes out twenty eight. You know, high number against lefties and righties. Uh, his uh, gives up a high percentage of hard balls hits to left handers. When they have potentially four left-handers in their lineup today, Chicago going against him. Uh, but me, I like Milwaukee to win this game. Uh, I like the uh, plus 100. I like the value that we're getting in that. I think it's just a pretty much an even matchup, and it'll probably come down to the bullpen. And I like Milwaukee's uh, chances in that. Uh, so let's go to our third game. We're going to look at Colorado versus Texas. We have Texas favorite, you know, minus 113. And the books also got Colorado minus 103. That's basically because these two teams have been scrimmaging against each other the last week, and Colorado's been eating up Texas, you know. Uh, I like the over nine here. I think it'll be over nine, over nine, with the plus one hundred. I think it'll be over nine. Uh, I like that, and you could probably even take a stab at Colorado minus one hundred three here. This is Texas, this brand new stadium, opening game in the first stadium, but they've been running, they're they having scrimmages in this stadium for the last week, and I watched them. It's Colorado. Texas's bullpen isn't that great, um, so. Once the starting pitchers out of there, that bullpen is going to give up hits, you know. Uh, but Texas can also hit the ball. Let's look at this game a little bit closer. Colorado versus Texas. Let's look at the uh, Texas hitters against the Colorado pitcher. Uh, the pitcher has a true RA of 3.51. Strikes out. 24% of his batters, uh, doesn't give up any walks, which is very good. Does give up hard hit balls, 30%, 36% rate. Uh, hard hit balls are pretty equal against lefty and right handers. So there's really nothing to tell there. He's just going to give up some hard hit balls. You know, line drives, he gives up more 
or percentage of 23% of line drives against uh, left-handers. Uh, against right-handers, he's pretty good. Today, he's going to face one, two, three, possibly four left-handers with the switch here in the lineup. Um, so, and the matchup is uh, Texas has 33% of its batters. Five of them hit thirty hit the ball thirty six percent of the time, uh, but they do strike out a lot, which is good. And he has K's, so uh, again, I'm not liking what I'm seeing from Texas early just by watching them earlier. Uh, the, you know, th this week. So uh, hey, my pick in this game is I, I like Colorado Texas over the nine over the nine runs. So, hey, so those are the three games I'm looking at. You know, we went over today. Um, so, uh, to repeat, Mets, Moneyline, uh, Milwaukee, who's a dog. We're going to take them to win the game on the money line. We're going to take Colorado and Texas. Uh, total points over nine. So those are my picks for today. To get all my picks, go to my website, which you can get down below and you can see all my picks for all games today all major league games for today and there's some premium picks available also and uh yeah that's all i have for the day um see you guys tomorrow with the morning line uh talk to you later bye bye